Hello, it's been a while and I'm gonna do a kiln opening. I had some time this week off from school, so I was able to finish some of my pieces and put them in the kiln. Wow! Everything looks really good. I'm so excited. It's a little chilly out today, but the pottery is warm to the touch, so maybe it'll help me warm up my hands a little. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, that glaze. The next piece, it's a cute little bear. I really like this one, it's really cute. But there is a small crack on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it's right up here. Oh, darn it. It's that came out really great. It's a little bunny. I did a poll on my Instagram saying what sort of bunny you guys like with big eyes or small eyes. I painted this one with big eyes, but there's some other ones with small eyes. Alrighty, what do we have next? Myself, this one came out so well. Oh my goodness. Like that purple glaze is always a winner in my book. Oh, it's so cute. This one was perfectly smooth. Like there are no pinholes anywhere that I could see. And the bottom is nice too. Oh, I'm so happy about this one. The next capybara, I hope this one comes out well too. Hey, this firing came out so well. Usually this green glaze has a lot of crazing. I'm so happy with this one. That came out really nice. Everything is pretty good so far, so I have high hopes for the rest of these. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Again with the pitting, and I don't know why, I think it's the clay body because the pieces that I started making with the new clay body I bought that doesn't have as much grog in it, doesn't have the little pitting holes. But the good thing is it only seems to, it only seems to happen on the outside. So at least that means like the inside is still completely food safe and everything. And I'm sure I'll give these all a good wash afterwards so they don't have my fingerprints all over them. But no, that's good. Like the inside, that green glaze is so beautiful. And it's still really cute on the outside. Just a little bit unfortunate that there is pitting, but oh, what can you do? Sometimes it's just like that. Oh, this one came out so good too. Wow, this new clay body. This new clay body, this is a win right here. Like, it is so smooth. Oh no. <laughs> There's some slight, slight cracks on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but. Oh darn. Oh, but I'm sure, I'm sure some, someone would still really love this because how gosh darn cute is that? <laughs> oh. Oh, ta -da! There's the back and here's the front. It's Totoro! <laughs> Gosh, how freaking nice is that? This, oh, this clay body. Guys, this clay body's a winner. I think it's, um, let me try to remember. I think it's Plainsman clays and I can't remember the, <laughs> what color it is. I think it's just the brightest one they have other than porcelain. So I really, I really like that about it. I'll have to ask um, where I got it from or take a look, but wow, that is really nice. Last piece of the shelf. Um, during this firing, I only fired two shelves worth of stuff because I wanted to really make some new things. I didn't have time to make like a crazy amount of stuff. So gonna be very exclusive um i suppose this shop update not on me okay there you go wow it's a cute little cat Alrighty, it's time for the next shelf okay i'm just gonna take be very careful and take out this shelf right here i i just i love seeing the improvement on my pieces i feel like looking at what i've made this time around versus any time I made before. Although a lot of the stuff I made before I really like too. I just feel like every time I make stuff, my style becomes more my own and it really feels like I've improved. A lot of the stuff I made previously, it really feels like I've emulated what I liked before, what I've seen online, but I'm really starting to try, <laughs> try my best to develop my own 
art style in pottery so I hope you guys like seeing where my art is going as well these two bowls right here <laughs> oh my gosh they're supposed to be little eggs here's a little cappy this is the only hand-built piece I have from this um, firing I don't really make a lot of hand-built stuff because I feel like they're prone to warping like you can see how the clay doesn't, it's not perfectly circular as I like it. It's more of an, an, an egg shape, I suppose, but um, it adds character and I think it generally comes out really well. Just that um, I kind of feel a little sad sometimes when it's like not perfect. Um, but let me know if you guys do like hand built work. I think it adds character. Ta-da! It's a little bunny. And oh, it came out so well, the glaze. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't stick to the bottom because I poured glaze in here. Oh, there's a tiny little crack, but that's okay. I just wanted this as to be an experiment because I saw those, um, what's it called? Those watering vases that when you put your thumb there, it like holds the water and then you let it go and it drips out. Um, definitely at the end of the video, I'll try it out and see if it works. <laughs> Oh, this is super cute. I made this little dish right here. This one's super light, like it's, it's like feels like paper, but a cute little dish with a little bunny on it. Oh, let's see if you can focus. This one. There we go. Cute little bunny and painted some foliage. I like the color scheme of the brown and the green. I think it contrasts really nicely together. All right. Oh, this one came out so cute. So bear <laughs> chilling on this base. Okay, I'm really happy with this design. Kind of like that. What do you guys think? So this is raw clay body over here. Um, and I glazed the inside. It's a little vase. It's sort of got this mountain shape triangular shape and i'm thinking this design i could focus it back on me um i'm thinking this design would actually be really well for the for the speckled clay i have because i still have a whole bag of it but i don't think this clay is the best for making um functional wear as it tends to have um pinning like pinholes with the glazes but I left this clay body raw on the outside and I think with the speckling, it looked really cool. This design is just super minimalistic. I think this time around, I really tried to um, ease up my designs a bit more and not make everything so crazy. So going for that simplicity. Let me know if you guys want to see more vases like this. Kind of like it. Ta-da! Focus. I sculpted a little pom pom for him right here. I could have done a little bit better job with placing him as you can see, but uh, it just kind of looks like he fell in there and just took a seat. So I like that too, super cute. Okay, last two pieces. I decided to keep the body of the clay raw, but still fire it to a high temperature so they become super strong. Um, and they do feel really nice and smooth. Um, and all I did was pour glaze, or not pour, but I used a, I used a little paintbrush and I put some glaze um, on their eyes. So there's a little bit of glaze on the eyes and inside the eyes here. So it gives it that shine and character, but this one's a little capybara. <laughs> it's got a cute little butt. And here's a little bunny guy. And I really wanted to make these just, you know, as little figurines. Okay, let's head inside. Oh, <laughs> it's like leaking, but it's kind of okay. And then if I let go, wow. <laughs> We're gonna give this another shot mm -hmm. with my boyfriend's hand because he has a bigger thumb. Oh, it's still leaking, but <laughs> okay, let go. But that's cool. I like, I like that. Yeah, could have added less holes. I think that would have worked a bit better if I had three holes. You know, that's not terrible. 
That's cool. <laughs> it's so cool seeing everything laid out like this. I, what? I can't wait to take photos and show you guys. If you're interested in any of the pieces, be sure to check out my Instagram because that's where I'll be posting all the updates for when these will be in the shop and also really nice quality photos. So link in the description. Bye guys.